different people welcome back to my channel if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe why because on this channel we only talk about sex culture and the law of attraction today i've got a little bit of a coarse voice because i don't know my throat just feels funny but i'm fine so today we've come with um it's almost like two topics in one but we are going to start with um what concerns the women and then we are going to go to another topic which is about um we're going to talk about the other topic so please stay tuned i'm so grateful to all my new subscribers because now we are almost running into the six thousand seven thousand actually seven thousand subscribers i'm so humbled and i'm so happy please keep subscribing and keep sharing the videos because when you share the videos we are going to grow yeah so today we are going to talk about how to penetrate the vjj how to penetrate the vagina without hating your woman how do you do that nicely romantically and peacefully how do you just do that because frankly speaking we've got men when they are entering when they are penetrating as if it's war as if there's a problem or they are being chased or as if it's a marathon it shouldn't be like that yeah it should not be like that here is what you need to do when penetrating your woman because remember you've started from a foreplay and remember from other videos we've talked about how foreplay should be done foreplay should not be there and then boom you are touching the hair no foreplay should be gradual it should even start like started last week or even started yesterday or started in the morning as you go to work prepare your woman nicely yeah then she'll be ready for you talk to her send her some sweet nothings messages you know those sweet sweet tiny sweet things that's it it's month and now don't talk about bills don't talk about things that you know that they are going to whip you out of the romantic mode be nice be sweet to each other when you come back home have your meal maybe even have a shower together then go into bed when you know that your woman is now ready for you she is ready to receive you she's ready you know that now she's ready what is twelve? everything has been prepared hmm you know that okay now she's ready when you she gives you to say there you go now take me as i am please take your time do not just go into the vjj into the cake like a like a parachute a rocket plane no you need to be going slowly you know what like here's what you need to do you enter a little bit. Well, how about, is she ready? Yes, she's ready. Well, we have. Again, you push a little bit. This quarter, you take it out. Again, you go this deeper. Well, we have. This deeper until the whole lot goes in, like inside. You don't say. You know? Don't just go immediately and slide in. And whether she's wet or she's not, you just push it in. One, you are going to give her very, very terrible tears and those little little tears they do not go away very quickly it will take us a week or two to heal from those tears because once we go for a week it will hurt when we are cleaning ourselves it will hurt so it doesn't heal very well and remember the sun doesn't shine down below the cake so definitely it will take longer for us to heal be gentle be nice be sweet thirdly even you you are going to have some tears they are going to get ripped especially those men who are not circumcised be gentle the cake is there there's no need of rushing there's no need of saying now i need to push all of it as if she's going to say don't do it no take your time and the more you are trying you push you stop you push again you stop you push again that is even that is even part of foreplay that is even putting your woman more ready because then she is going to be more ready to receive you because you are going nice and slow to say, here I am now. Can I come in? Can I come in? 
can I come in? Can I come in? Until you see that now it's okay to slide all your penis inside the vagina. Okay? So that was another concern to say, mm -mm, that him bites too much. And now from tonight or today or wherever, please try it. And you're going to now let's talk about the other um, the other issue which men have been complaining about this is the no matter how much they have sex no matter how much it is going it is going really well but they cannot ejaculate they can't just reach there what do they do where is the problem remember men you use the same unlike us women us we've got different roots for ejaculation or not for ejaculation for orgasm and for urinating different roads but you only have one so when you want to when you want to wee this muscle will open and you're going to wee it's the same thing that happens when you're having sex when you're having sex this muscle for weeing is going to close to let the sperm that pass so that you can release the sperms nicely into this into this um this tunnel until it reaches the front of the penis but if you have this problem of um retrograde ejaculation this muscle doesn't close so when you are having sex it doesn't even know that you're having sex so what will happen it will just immediately when you are releasing the sperm will come out but because this muscle didn't close the sperm will go into the bladder instead and it will be very hard for you to make a woman pregnant and it will be very hard for you to say, now I have released. So sometimes you find that you keep going and going and going. Or sometimes there will be a little bit of semen, but that's not sperm. That's going to be just like semen to say, okay, I've released. So that is a problem. If you've got this problem, you need to go and see your doctor or you need to, to do a few natural remedies that are going to help you. It's not a life-threatening problem. Tyreen party, don't be scared. But if it continues... Of course, when you're in a relationship, you want to have children. You want to make sure that you have seen that your woman is holding your semen, your sperms, and things like that. So these are the things that, few things that you need to control as you are in a relationship. Okay? So this is uh, called retrograde ej ejaculation. Less semen. Or if you don't want to call it retrograde ejaculation, you can call it dry ejaculation. There's nothing there. But you have come. But the whole thing has just diverted and gone into the bladder. What is the solution to this? Go and see the doctor and tell them to say this is the problem and you have to pay attention. Sometimes you can even wear the condom just to make sure that do you see your sperm there. If it's not there, just know that you are in that time where you are having retrograde ejaculation. And it's not good. Okay? Thank you very much, my vibrant people. I hope this video found you nicely. Make sure you take your time when inserting, when entering that door. It is nice and delicate and lubricated. Sometimes because you are so much in a rush, it's not even lubricated. And then you want to insert and push it inside. Push inside and then, and, then, and, then, and then the pain is there. And then what? It's not good. So take your time. Yeah? Take your time. Push it, come out. Push it again, come out. Push it again until it all goes in. Okay? Thank you, my vibrant people. We shall be back again for more videos. Please don't forget, if you like this video, please don't forget to give us thumbs up so that other people may wonder why are we having thumbs up and then they are going to join into this channel. Thank you very much, guys. I love you, my vibrant people. Thank you.